What if I told you that the video you just watched isn't real? It's actually a result of face swapping, and if you're eager to learn how I achieved this, follow along with me step by step. First, we need a base image to work with. There are two main sources where you can find suitable images. The first option is C-Art, or we could use Mid-Journey. Let's begin by visiting the C-Art website. Upon arrival, you'll notice various categories such as characters, anime, cartoons, and sci-fi. These categories contain a wide variety of images to choose from, catering to your specific needs. As you scroll down the page, you'll come across several pre-existing images that you can explore. To access these images and unlock additional features, you'll need to register. You can do this by clicking on the Login button. Now you have many registration options, either through Discord or using your Google account. Choose the method that suits you best. In my case, I'll be logging in with my Google account. The registration process may take a moment, but once it's complete, you can specify the type of characters or images you're interested in. Simply highlight your preferences and confirm your selections. With your preferences set, click on Start Using It, and you're ready to go. Now that we have our base image, let's move on to the next steps. So now that we've successfully registered on SeaArt, the next crucial step is finding the perfect base image for our face swap. To locate the ideal base image, we'll navigate to seaart.ai. After completing the registration process, we'll be greeted with this user-friendly interface where we can initiate our search. Here, we have several options. We can conduct a search using specific keywords. We can explore images that have already been generated. Or, if you're feeling creative, you can even generate your own image. For our face swap, we need to find a realistic image of a blonde individual. Click on Realistic to narrow down our search. As you can see, the platform presents us with an array of amazing images. However, our goal is to find a realistic blonde image with a close-up shot. To do this, simply enter Blonde Realistic Close-Up in the search bar and hit Enter. Now as you scroll through the search results, you'll notice some truly stunning images. But our focus is on selecting one where the hair doesn't completely cover the face. This is crucial to ensure a smooth and successful face swap. Scroll down and explore the images. SeaArt offers a fantastic selection of visuals that we can work with. Once you've found the perfect image, you're ready to proceed with the face swap process. In the next part of this tutorial, we'll dive into the details of how to perform the face swap using the chosen image. So, for example, let's go with this image right here. It's kinda looking beautiful. Go ahead and download this image to your device. Now, we'll proceed to the next stage using mid-journey. In the search bar, type on describe and then drag and drop the base image we just downloaded into mid-journey. After doing this, press enter. What Midjourney will do is regenerate prompts specifically for the image you provided. This may take a minute or so, so be patient. All right, here are the prompts generated for our image. There are essentially four different prompts and you can explore all of them by clicking Imagine All. Now it's time to decide which prompt you like the most and want to use for your face swap. Take a look at the different images generated based on these prompts. We're aiming for one where the face is clearly visible and has fewer obstructions like hair. These two look promising. However, this one appears a bit unrealistic. These are good options as well. Ultimately, I think we should go with this one. But we'd love to hear your preferences, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. Now that we've selected our desired image, let's proceed by downloading it. But here's an important tip. If you want an even more realistic image, there's a technique for that as well. You can head back to the four prompts you just described and choose one you like. For instance, let's pick. The third option is to pick the third prompt. However, to make our image even more realistic, we can add an additional specification. Let's specify that the image should be photo taken with Nikon D7850. This will generate even more realistic results. So after adding this specification, press enter. 
What this does is it do, it generates a set of realistic images for you. And as you can see, we're now presented with a wide array of highly realistic images. These are looking absolutely fantastic. For our face swap, we'll start with this image. We'll upscale it and then proceed to download it. Now, let's move on to the next step. Finding the perfect video. We need a video of a blonde girl dancing for our project. And luckily, we have a couple of options here. Since we already have the base image, our focus is on finding the right video. Let's look for one where there is minimal facial movement. This one appears to be a better fit because there isn't much facial movement. To download this video, we'll head over to Google and then search for snaptick.com. We'll use this website to download TikTok videos. Paste the video's link here and click the download button. Now, we have both the video and the base image ready for our face swap. In the video description, you'll find a link to a Google Colab code where all the magic happens. First, connect this to your device or laptop you are working on. Now that we're connected to the Google Colab code, we need to go through a few more steps. First, let's go to step one and click on Resume. This will initiate the process, so please be patient and wait for a minute or two. After completing the first step, we'll move on to step two, which involves uploading the video. Here, you'll need to upload the video that you want to apply the face swap to. In my case, I'll be using the TikTok video with the dancing woman that we downloaded earlier. Simply select the video file and wait a bit until it's uploaded. Now that the video is uploaded, it's time to proceed to step three, which is uploading the face image. This is where we need to upload the image that you want to use for the face swap. Make sure the face is clear and visible in the image. I've chosen this image that I found on Mid Journey. After uploading it, wait for a moment. As you can see, the images are uploaded. Now let's move on to step four, which is creating the final video. After waiting for approximately two to three minutes, the video will be ready for the face swap. It's an exciting moment as you see your creation come to life. Next, head over to step five to download the final product video. These are the results of our face swap and I hope you're as thrilled as I am with the outcome. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyable. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel for more exciting content like this.